Welcome. Let's say we have a Wagtail site with images and text and video, but we would also like to have code in the text. Now, this is not standard provided by Wagtail, but we can do that by using a number of features and an external package. And that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. First of all, let's see how the text is right now. So let's head over to our uh, project. and start up the server. Great, now our project looks like this at the moment. And if we would go into this um, page, then you can see here that here is the code and sometimes also inline code, like for example, um, Python 3, we would like to have this inline, uh, as an inline code. And this doesn't look very nice, obviously. So that's what we're going to change. And the first thing is that Wagtail does provide uh, a manner to, uh, to enable inline code. And you have to add a parameter features, a keyword features, to your rich text field. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Um, head over to our models. And then here we have the rich text block in paragraph and there we're going to add the parameter the keyword features and what it does it enables a number of um, rich text fields and then we can enable some of them which are not standard enabled like for example these ones are enabled but for example here is code inline code which is not enabled and we also include block quote so We've added those two plus a number of the standard ones. Um, as I said, this is only taking care of inline code. And luckily there is a package which takes care of um, code blocks. And this is called Wagtail Code Block. We will need that package. So let's quit the server for a second and install that package. Wagtail Code Block. Let's put this in our requirements. And there we go. And then add it to our requirements and also add it to our settings file in settings base.py and add it right there. And then is there anything else we need to do? Um, yes, we need to add the languages that we want because it uh, comes with uh, styling as well language dependent styling so we need to add the languages that we want in our styling to our settings as well so if we go to the end of settings then we want most of the default languages and we it will include sql as well there's a number of languages that we can include but we don't need all of them so let's add some languages here which Wagtail code block can actually provide and then we can set a theme as well and we will just use the default theme which means that we have to put this parameter at none now in our models we can add a code block which means that here we have a paragraph an image and a video and we'll also add a code block here so that our stream field can incorporate that as well then we have the code block, which will come from Wagtail code block. So we have to import that. There we are. And then the code block should be accepted. Yes, it is. Now we're ready to go. So let's start up our server again. Oh, no. First, we have to migrate to database to see if all the changes are going to be accepted. Added a field. And now we can run the server. Great. Let's go over and go over to admin. Let's go over to one of our pages of one of the articles. This one should be fine. And now here we can add after the video we can add something now let's see what we can add here 
we can indeed add a code. So let's see how all of this looks like. Let's uh, reformat this a little bit. Now this is perfectly okay because this is all text. So let's copy that text and put it in a separate paragraph. And then we're going to add a piece of code, which are these two lines here. So we will add this and now code and then add the code. And we can see how it looks like. Language is going to be a shell language. So this is the way it's going to be formatted. And now there are some, maybe there's some inline code here as well. Yeah, here we can use this as inline code. So where's the symbol for inline code? Here it is. So we'll put that as inline code as well. Uh, and this one we'll use inline code as well. Great. So publish this and see how this is going to look like. Go to the article. Now, this is the way it has been formatted. So you can see here is the inline code. And this is the block code. And that's the way this is formatted. There's a few things we can tweak here. First of all, the formatting of the inline code is not exactly the same as block code. So let's try and change that. Let's go over and see if we can change that in our settings file. Um, where's the settings file? Static CSS, there it is. And let's add some styling for the code. We changed the background color and we put a little bit of padding around it. So how does this look like? Oh, this is not picked up. That's probably because our browser is caching. So let's make sure that we disable the cache. Yeah, that's much better. You see that here, the code now has similar styling with the background behind it. Find this again. And now there's one little thing which we would also like to change because here we have the line numbers, which might be a bit exaggerated when you only have the two lines. Now, there's no apparent way to switch this off in Wagtail code block, but by adding a little piece of JavaScript, we can uh, delete the line numbers after they've been created by Wagtail code block. So we head over to our JavaScript file here. And we add a little bit of code here, which is this code, which essentially removes the line numbers from Wagtail code block. See if it's working. Again, probably the um, caching is uh, not working. It's not helping us. So yeah, there it is gone. Now we can take care of that. And now this is to our liking. That means now that we can, for all of the code that is going to be here in our tutorial, we can change this in the way that it has been formatted here. That's all for now. Thank you for, thank you for watching. See you next time.